मुझे भी आ रही थोड़ी थोड़ी ठीक है मैं सीख रहा हूँ अभी मेरा नाम है और हमारे आज जो गेस्ट है दे आर डार्क हॉर्स रेफर्स कौन है ये मिल लीजिए Hi, I'm Sensei. I'm from Darjeeling, and I play for Two Rippers. Hi, I'm Aryu. I'm from the Philippines. My name is Philip Bergara, and I'm known for IGLing through Rippers. Thank you so much for making you no know, time for this interview. I know things are a little tight. You played a match against a team, MLT, and it was decent. What? How was your experience? You know, a basic, brief, small experience session. It wasn't really difficult, honestly. It was how we expected it to be, and like the start was a bit rough because they. Like, This was my first land, so I was not used to the experience. But like slowly, I got the hang of it. Are you? Everyone's still finding their groove on how they uh, they're gonna play on land since online is quite different from a land environment. So we started our first half with kind of slow. So by the second half, everyone's uh, comfortable. That's why we had a strong lead on the second half against MLP. So we have ten teams in our lineup. You know, you with other nine teams. Where you position yourself? You know, dark horses, underdogs, or favorites. I think for me, it's more of an underdog since uh, pretty much like two two of our uh, members are young and upcoming, so they don't think for us that we're like the favorites since the favorites are quite obvious, which is VLT and OG. But I think we can prove ourselves that we belong on the favorites as well. Friends, sir. Uh, I'm sure like the top two are definitely VLT and OG, the fan favorites, right? But like we we are underdogs, but like we have a lot of potential in our roster with few being experienced and few being explosive for the fragging power and the fire power. So I think we will do pretty good. A nice time, you no? Know, just to say amateur, like explosive word. But you know, if you want to take down VLT, you know, is there any specific section where you need to work on? But to take down some some teams like Vale, which are really experienced, the best thing to do is something inexperienced, which they cannot see coming. I mean, stuff. I agree with him since uh, most disciplined teams tend to know like the disciplined outcomes, the outplays. That's why if you're gonna be beating some disciplined teams, you should do something unexpected that they won't even expect themselves. So like you're from Philippines, so yeah. Till now, how did you like this Indian Valon community? Uh, so far, I think they're uh, b- very funny. I I've seen some on Twitter like the vanters, the memes, everything. I, I can see like the overhyped teams, the underdogs. So for me, uh, for them, the way they criticize teams is like, oh, they're uh, criticizing so much. But at the same time, they show some funny sides. Where they created banters on the Twitter, which is I. Like I find it funny. You living in Bangalore? I, yeah. I believe your boot camp is in Bangalore. So any yeah. specific dish you're fond of? Uh, for me, it's uh, chicken biryani. Oh yes, why not? <laughs> they earlier uh, you were telling me that they were they consume a lot of chicken, you know? They need meat in every meal, or else they they don't, they don't feel enjoy. Energetic. They don't feel yeah. energetic. They need a lot of meat by a lot. I mean like a lot. Same with disrupt. Yeah. So anything you want to say to Nordwin Gaming for hosting something? Yeah, like this is my first land and like. Honestly, I'm really happy. Like this is the best line South Asia has ever had. So, are you? This question is for you. No. First of all, tell me that what position you no know, disrupt holds in the team? How much important disrupt is for you for the team? I think for me, disrupt is one of the founding pillars of the team since uh, I create like stress around him sometimes because he's a flex. He can play basically anything. So, uh, for me, disrupt is like a really important member to have. He communicates. He plays properly. He does everything that he needs to do, and sometimes uh, he also tries to be the best in order for us to win. You, know, you have been playing with this club since a long time. Yeah. What if you know in a future matches, if he's not able to play a match, how you plan to take True Rippers to the victory? Uh, I pretty much can calculate on how I can help the team on winning without this club, since I can't like solely uh, depend on the player. So I have to depend on each other, like Sensei, Pixels, Owen. I need. Oh, I also need them to perform as they should. Cause if we rely on a single player, 
So it's basically a one-month team, and I don't want that to happen. So, in our tournament, we have a lot of milestones. Those who are coming, who have accomplished it, are your first VCSA's first ace. Yeah. So, let's start with what happened, what was going on when it happened. Uh, first, Venka got two kills on site, and I knew like, we are at such a crucial scoreline. Like, if we lose the pistol, we are going to lose the pistol. So, Venka got two kills on site, and I knew like, we are at such a crucial scoreline. Like, if we lose the pistol, we are going to lose the pistol. So, Venka got two kills on site, and I knew like, we are at such a crucial scoreline. I think I was alone on the side, and I knew like I have to, I have to kill them or like buy time for my teammates. And I did what I do best normally, just click, clicking heads. When he pulled off that thing, you know, how was your reaction? How was the team feel that time? Uh, everyone literally screamed because we didn't really expect him to kill everyone there. We expected like maybe kill two, three, but he killed everyone. We're like, Come on, let's go! Because he he was having a rough game at the very start. Then when he got to the second half, especially that piece around, he. He got his momentum back. No doubt, congratulation! It was you know because it was the first ace, so everyone gonna remember the first ace. Yeah. You know after that two three happened, but first one will be always remember. So when are we going to see the next one in the second matchup? Uh, I probably definitely try to do that every time on I'm on stage or I'm. Basically, I, I don't feel like he, every player whenever they go on the dungeon, you know, on the wall, they focus getting an ace. They just focusing to get those magical number thirteen rounds victory. One at a time. It's all about one. Oh, for me, I think it's more of it's better to have a clean round than like one v five, for example. Because if you have a clean round, you have a clean economy. You can pretty much have a great advantage. Even if you lose a round, you can still come back on the next. After this VCSA, let's say Kita Sir, I call you. Do are you? Let's play together. You wanna team up with again? Oh yeah, actually, there's a funny story. He actually tried to contact me before. Like I think last year, he tried to contact me. Like, hey, can can you like play with us? Then. I was still studying at the time, so I had to like reject his offer because I had to migrate here and everything, and I was still studying. So, but for now, I think I don't really need him since there's only two imports allowed, and I don't really want to let go of Disrupt since Disrupt is a different player compared to Tesseract. Tesseract plays uh, main initiators like Sova, Breach, or like Cipher for Fracture, for example. But I feel like uh, Disrupt can bring. More to the table compared to Tesseract. Okay, so no Tesseract into you know current lineup. But let's say if if you want to include Tesseract in a lineup, if you want to take assistance or services of Tesseract in a team, any play you wanna you know get rid of. I mean you. This is the masala. You know I told you I will yeah. serve you masala biryani. This is masala for you. <laughs> I mean Tesseract brings a lot of experience, especially since I remember him. Playing with him in action page, he is the second caller for me. He is trying to like, hey, come here in the middle, uh, mid rounds and everything. So I think he's gonna be falling under maybe Pixels since he's a little bit more controller and initiator type, and I can adjust to the two roles. But personally, I I You're don't happy. really. I'm really happy with the team right now. He is happy. So thank you so much, guys. It was really fun. So ये थे हमारे two rippers at Sensen Ario. हमारे इनिशिएटर फ्लेक्स डूलिस्ट एंड आईजीएल और भी चेहरे बैठेंगे इन सोफो पे उनके साथ करेंगे ढेर सारी बातें इस सेगमेंट बूस्टेड एडेंट में टिल देन यू गाइस गो गेम